Hey guys, hey, how are you doing? I hope you are fine and fit out there. As mentioned last week, I have quite some ideas and quite some videos in my mind about tempo day running shoes and running shoe battles. And these shoes are basically from last year, 2021, but still on the sale and also quite some nice prices. So that's why I was thinking, let's just get to this video as well. And again, compare two very nice shoes from last year. Now, one of the two shoes is the Hoka Rincon version 3 and the other shoe is the Saucony Kimbara 12. I will link up in the cards both uh, full reviews, but let's just check out uh, quickly the specs. So the Rincon version 3, 33 mm stack height in the heel and 28 in the forefoot, which means a 5 mm drop. So that's quite a low drop there. Your Achilles is a question mark. You have to be ready for that. The Kimbra is 28 mm in the heel and 24 in the forefoot, which means even less a 4 mm of drop. Rincon C is 9 grams less for me than the Kimbra, uh, but both are really, really super weight. So the Rincon is 183 and the other one is 190 ish. So definitely there with the weight as well. Let's go to the four categories and let's start with the upper. I have to say that the upper department, I was super happy with these shoes, both of these. Both are two to size for me, which means 40 and a half in European sizes, UK 7 in women's size. Super engineered mesh uppers, simple, just does the job. I was using uh, the Rincon quite a lot in the summer. It was perfectly breathable. The Kimvara I was using more in the winter, I have to be honest. and. Uh, it was not so breathable as the Rincon, but it's also fine for the winter because you don't want to get your feet freezing. Um, I have to get uh, a winner here and uh, I chose for the Rincon because of that breathability. I have to add though that uh, the Rincon does not have a gossety tongue, it has an isometric tongue and the Kimbara does have a gossety tongue. If it's something you prefer at a shoe, then I would say that on the upper part the Kimbara is your choice. Let's go to the second category and that's one of the key features that the midsole foam, the cushioning. I would advise to choose these shoes if your ankle is okay, if you don't have any ankle issues uh, and your feet is also strong because you need that strength in your feet to be able to use this shoe. Definitely for the Kimbara because it has just huge ground feel. It's a low stack height as well, you will see and it's also responsive. The Kimbara has Power Run midsole foam, which is a really trustable midsole foam. I was also mentioning in the other videos. You cannot really expect anything super energy return. It's just a trustable midsole, which I really like. But then you have to be sure this is what you are looking for. On the other hand, the Hoka Rincon 3, they were expecting some uh, upgrades on the midsole, but I have to say it's not really an upgrade. I did not really feel a big difference from the version 1. Um, it's still EVA midsole foam. There is also quite some midsole foam exposed on the outsole, but that's uh, like a topic. It provides in a way more cushioning than the Kimvara, but I also have to say that after 100, 200 kilometers, yeah, that cushioning is just getting less. So this is not a shoe you are expecting hundreds of kilometers from. It definitely means that on the midsole and cushioning, my winner is the Kimvara 12. Let's go to the third category and that's outsole. Just briefly mentioned the Rincon, but let's check out. Now, this is mostly how it already looked like at 50 kilometers. You can see that exposed uh, midsole foam here. It is quite used. The rubber parts are okay. You see some usage, but it's kind of okay. Here you can see already there is some usage. Uh, but that was also the Achilles part of the version 1 and the version 2 was basically the same as the first version. And then the third version, they added some more rubber, but it's still not that high quality. And that's really a shame because I really like this shoe, but that outsole is just not making the cut. Now, on the other hand, the Kimbara is of course super lightweight as well. And you can see 100 plus kilometers, really no sign of usage. The rubber is working just fine. It is placed at the right places, I have to say as well, and it has really a good grip. I was using it really in uh, rainy days as well. It just did the job perfectly. So I have to say definitely on the outsole, the winner is the Kimura. 
And we are getting to the fourth category, which is price and value. Mentioned the use case is more or less the same, though for me, the max what I was running in this shoe was 15 kilometers. I feel really that my Achilles is working here too much. So that's why I'm really cautious with this shoe and I would not recommend it for everyone. But it's just perfect for tempo days, short runs, short tempo runs. Don't use it for your easy days because it's just not for those easy days. On the other hand, of course, the Rincon is a tempo day shoe, more cushioning. I have run a half marathon, even above the half marathon in this shoe, and it did the job, though I felt my knee on it. So I'm not expecting that, for example, from a Nike Vapor 5 version 2. I have no issues with my knee on that shoe, and I did have a bit of issue here. Um, so that's why I say price and value perspective for me. The winner is the Kimbara as well. You can expect this shoe to use it for like five, six hundred kilometers easily, which I cannot say about the Rincon, unfortunately. I did not mention the prices yet. Uh, on the price category, the Hokariko retails for 119 euros and uh, in US dollars is 115, I believe, the last prices I have seen. And the uh, Kimbara 12 was retailing for full price, 139, 135 euros, somewhere there. But because the version 13 is out, uh, you can expect that the Kimbara you can purchase for the 12th uh, version under the 100 euros. I also don't have an update to be honest whether there will be a Hoka Rincon version 4 this year. If there would be, I really expect that on durability front, they will just upgrade this shoe because it's not making the cut. Which is really a shame because it's just a lovely shoe. Now, the winner for today is definitely the Saucony Kimbara 12. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video. Have a guys nice day. Bye.